I got a dog for a lot of the normal reasons. I wanted a companion, I go hiking, I ride horses, I'm pretty active, so I wanted a medium active dog. And Dalmatians were bred to be with horses. So I want, I was like, that's perfect. Got the breeder, met the breeder. We got to the point where I'm getting the dog and she said, I have the perfect dog for you. But P.S., would you mind showing it? Because he happens to be showable. And I thought, sure, whatever. I mean, <laughs> did that whole like, oh, it's easy. Why not? Um, so I started showing him just because she asked me to and because I thought it would be a good socialization opportunity. You know, those are all good skills any dog should have. Be in public, be, you know, touched, manners, you know, appropriate skills. So I started doing it that way. The, the Portland Rose City Classic, January of this year. Tell me about that show. That was very exciting. Uh, we won a best of specialty at that show in a ring of like 25 other Dalmatians. And that was the first show where I really felt like I'd put in enough of the work after our workshop that six months that I was able to really confidently put that in the ring and showcase my dog and show my dog, not just like trot him around the ring, head strung in the air and shoving bait in his mouth. I was presenting him, you know, he was presenting himself. That was, it was really exciting. Beat them all. Yes. Yes, we did. And yeah, we did. It was amazing because he was. So how did you go from the beginning part of showing and then us meeting and getting together? The beginning part of showing was kind of a disaster. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. And I went to handling classes like I in my neighborhood and I went to a couple shows. If he would let judges examine him was the biggest problem. There was a lot of sh class shows where we actually got excused because he wouldn't let anyone touch him and he couldn't be examined. So it was a lot of hit or miss and we were still having some behavior issues so I just wanted to learn more. And that's how I found you. And then I learned how much I don't know and that's kind of where we're at. So how did you find me? How did I find um, your videos on YouTube? First of all, I watched a lot of those and I think I just found a flyer on maybe Facebook. So what was it in the workshop that allowed you to, you know, what things did you learn and do that allowed you to show him the way he needed to be shown? The number one thing that I loved about the workshop and all of your teaching actually is the loose lead. Like, let the dog show himself. You don't need to be cranking on his neck. We don't need tension because that travels down the line. It looks ugly. The dogs don't like it. And now I look at everyone else at dog shows and I look at it so much differently. So that was the number one thing. And, and he needs to have the space to be himself and show himself. He doesn't need my help. And. Do you ever get an opportunity where you're looking at the dog and say, well, those are really nice dogs, but then all of a sudden you see somebody like string them up or not let the dog show like where you were in the beginning and feel that they're holding their dog back? Absolutely. Yeah, especially in our breed. Um, the thing that really kind of starts to annoy me now, now that I know more, is the down and back. They come from the down and back. They get right up in the judge's face and the handler has got the, their back to the judge and they're staring down at the dog trying to get the expression from their dog and the judge can't see it they have to the judge has to actually walk around and work harder to look at that dog and it's one of my like now it's my pet peeve <laughs> get out of the way <laughs> the biggest complaint is they say that you can't compete against the pros tell me about that i i really disagree with that actually especially now that when I'm looking at the pros in the ring and a lot of them are making these really kind of, you know, elementary mistakes, you know, stringing the dog up, getting in the way, shoving food in your mouth, all those little things take away from the quality of the presentation. And it really stands out when you can make your dog go around on a loose leash. When you can stand back, you can give a little space. You can make them stand without shoving a loaf of bread in their mouth. There are a lot of amazing pros out there. 
there are a lot of handlers that can get the most out of their dogs Good. and and allow the judges to see what they need to see for them to evaluate them. And I commend them. I mean, it's 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 like watching a work of art watching some of these handlers. And you know, we've got some great ones on the West Coast, the East Coast. Um, I've seen some in in Europe, um, stunning in Asia, you know, all over the world. But you know, those are the handlers that the people need yeah. to to watch and duplicate, not the ones that are stringing the dogs up, that are yanking on the dogs, that are you know doing shoving the piece of bait inside of their face. So instead of training the dog to stand. You know the things that you're doing now yeah. are a, are able to let the judge find your dog easier, and that's why now you're beating some of the other people out there, especially in this breed right here. You know, beating some of the other people out there that aren't getting the most out of their dogs. So yeah. for those people who say you can't compete against the handler. Well, my theory is if you're going to compete against the handler, you've got to put as much work or more into competing with the handlers. Exactly. There. And that's exactly what you're doing, and that's why you're being so successful now. Yeah. So yeah. kudos to you, my dear. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's almost easier because we don't have – I have one dog. I don't have 15 dogs, you know. I get one dog I get to train, condition, groom. It's, it is a lot easier, and I think if people would – take a little bit of time to train for it as much as they train for agility or obedience, then it would be, you'd be successful. Yeah. As you've proven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's All right. right.